on crime reduction and public safety. Preventing violence against federal, state, tribal, and local law enforcement officials. Very important. All very important. Thank you all very much. Jeff, you know you're going to do a fantastic job. Good luck. Thank you. I, Jeff Sessions, do solemnly swear. I, Jeff Sessions, do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation, without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose is of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter, of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you all. I know so many of you through reading and through business magazines, and you've done an amazing job. And I want to congratulate you, and I know you're under pressure from a lot of foreign elements and foreign carriers. I've been hearing that a little bit. At the same time, we want to make life good for them also. They come with big investments. In many cases, those investments are made by their governments. but. They are still big investment. I'm thrilled to welcome the leaders of the airline industry to the White House. Your industry supports over 10 million well-paying U.S. jobs and creates almost $1 trillion in economic activity, which is really big stuff, really amazing. Last year, our airlines moved approximately 2 million people each day in our country, which is an incredible number of people, and they move them well, despite the bad equipment that the airports give you in many cases because they can't get approvals on anything and we have a regulatory morass that's a disaster. 
And I can tell you that a lot of the new equipment that's ordered is obsolete the day they order it. And that's according to people that know, including my pilot. I have a pilot who's a real expert, and he said, Sir, the equipment they're putting on is just the wrong stuff. So we'll talk about that. Because if we're going to modernize our systems, we should be using the right equipment. And I know Mr. Tilden is uh, nodding. You know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing to order equipment, but let's order the right equipment. Probably the wrong equipment costs more. Mm -hmm. Probably buy the right equipment for less money. So we want to talk about that. Because my pilot, he's a smart guy, and knows what's going on, said, the government is using the wrong equipment and, and instituting a massive multi-billion dollar project, but they're using the wrong type of equipment. So let's find out about that. We want the traveling public to have the greatest customer service with an absolute minimum of delays and with the greatest convenience, all at the lowest possible cost. We want to help you realize these goals, and we will indeed help you realize these goals. Airports, very important to me. Travel, very important to me. I mean, as an example, somebody was saying yesterday to me that you go to China, you go to Japan, they have fast trains all over the place. We don't have one. I don't want to compete with your business, but we don't have one fast train. <laughs> and it's the same thing with our airports. Our airports used to be the best. Now they're at the bottom of the room. We've spent $6 trillion, think of it, as of about two months ago, $6 trillion in the Middle East. We've got nothing. We've got nothing. We never even kept a small, just even a little tiny oil well. Not one little oil. I said, keep the oil. But we spent right now $6 trillion in the Middle East. We have nothing. And we have an obsolete plane system. We have obsolete airports. We have obsolete trains. We have bad roads. We're going to change all of that, folks. So you're going to be so happy with Trump. I think you already are. So we want to help you realize these goals by rolling back burdensome regulations. And you people are regulated probably as much as almost anybody, although I can think of a couple of industries that are even worse. Lowering the overall tax burden on American business is big league. That's coming along very well. Um, we're way ahead of schedule, I believe. And we're going to be announcing something, I would say, over the next um, two or three weeks that will be phenomenal in terms of tax. Mm -hmm. And developing our aviation infrastructure. Uh, again, I want to thank you all for being here. So I want this to be a meeting of, uh, of substance. I want to be able to do things for you. The auto industry was in. Uh, they left. They said it was the best meeting they've ever had. I even took them into the Oval Office. The head of Ford, the head of General Motors, the head of Fiat, others, they never saw the Oval Office. I said, you mean they never took you in? It was, you know how far away it was from the room? Ten feet. It was ten feet across the hallway. But they never got taken in. I took them in. Uh, the auto companies are going to be making massive investments in Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania. A lot of the places where jobs have left. Uh, so we're really happy about that. They've been great. Ford is going to build a, as you know, they canceled a big plant in a certain place. I won't say where. A $2 billion plant, and they're building it in the United States, and they're expanding greatly. General Motors, the same thing. They've been great. They've been great. And I think they'll continue to be great. But we're also going to be great to them. We're going to get rid of a lot of unnecessary regulation. And we're going to make their life a lot easier. They're going to employ a lot more people. So it's working. A lot of businesses are rushing in. They're coming in big late.